morning guys welcome to today's episode <clears throat> blood pressure was down a little bit today i do feel like i slept a lot better last night i don't think you guys realize that that plays a huge role in where your blood pressure is at like for you know guys 200 pounds or heavier that you know have use a cpap to sleep with have some sort of sleep apnea your sleep is huge you know two nights ago i woke up three times in the middle of the night and sometimes it just happens sometimes you don't get you know a perfect a, a perfect you know connection with your mask uh, last night i only woke up once which was awesome slept really good last night and you know that could be a part of what brought it down a little bit i was almost in the 120s over 76. that's pretty damn good um also a lot of you guys uh, messaged me and said hey did you see that fuad posted his uh his blood pressure um, supplements yesterday um, for those of you that have been watching me for long enough and have heard me explain what i have in my tackle box yeah i have the same thing as fuad <laughs> He's been doing that for the last five weeks, I believe he said. I've been doing it for longer. <laughs> um, and I got my info from Dante as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, like he said, him using these supplements got him to the 130s over 80s, but he just wanted to get to the 120s faster. Um, so then he got that uh, blood pressure medication, so. Same thing for me. It got me to the 130s over 80s, and that's that's fine. <clears throat> and just depending on you know how I sleep, how I ate, that can really influence how much lower it actually goes. So that's that's the deal with it. There's just so many different variables that come into play with blood pressure. You're not just you know your number. You're not just cut and dry. 120 over 80 that's what you are no it fluctuates greatly like if i went in there right now and checked it after talking to you guys drinking this it'd probably read you know 139 over 85 or something like that like it would be elevated because when we get up and we start moving around we start doing things it elevates the thing is is we sleep eight hours a night or more, some of you less. But when you're sleeping, that's when it should be at its lowest, that's when your body's recovering. And if it's not low then, like if you wake up in the morning and it's 170 over 110, that means you spent all night struggling. Okay, your body was not recovering in the middle of the night. Okay, and then it's gonna be even more elevated throughout the day while you start working and working out and dealing with stress and eating and all that, because all those things raise your blood pressure. That's why we check it first thing in the morning. You know, that's when it's gonna be its lowest, that's when we have the best idea of what was it at when you were sleeping and it was consistently low, all right? That's, that's what's up. If I checked it, you know, at like 3 p.m. after I worked out, it'd probably say something like 150 over 90 or something like that. But the thing is, is that's not a bad thing. Like your blood pressure is going to be high because your body's trying to recover. It's trying to recover um, from, you know, what you just did to it in a workout. Like that's why it's high. It's not that it's high from, you know, you doing nothing, <laughs> you know. That's the thing is we want it in a good, healthy range at rest, okay? That's what's up. It changes so much throughout the day. <clears throat> I don't know, for those of you that don't have blood pressure issues or haven't looked into it, I feel like you just don't understand because it's not something that's on your mind or something that you've checked often all the time. Like it fluctuates greatly. You're not just always, you know, your numbers that you check. It's not always like that. And for the general population, well, for the general population, a lot of the time it is because well, the general population is lazy as fuck. They don't work out, they don't do anything. They go to their work, they sit on their ass for fucking eight hours and then they come home. <laughs> and yeah, so that's why they don't have 
you know, elevated blood pressure because they don't deal with the physical stressors that we do. Yeah, a lot of them deal with mental stressors and, and you know, living the American dream of debt and kids. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a whole different story. Anyway, this is meal one. It was one banana and two and a half scoops of MRE light. That's about 30 or 40 grams of protein or 30 or 40 grams of carbs and about 60 grams of protein. It is 6 a.m. I have a client at 7. I'm going to walk into the gym this morning. My reason is uh, last night I pinned in my left hip or yeah and then uh, Saturday I pinned in my right hip and I feel like <clears throat> when you do your injections around there it's smart to uh, move and walk and be active to help move and push that around so we're gonna get in a little extra cardio today just to keep that shit moving all right guys that's that I will see you all later what's up guys I am on my way to the grocery store I just got back from training my client it is 8 45 so um yeah, it's time to buy some food. Uh, so we're gonna go to the grocery store and pick up basically four days worth of food. I need meat, so I'm gonna pick up some flank steak and I'm gonna pick up some 96.4 ground beef to alternate back and forth with on my meals. Um, I need some olive oil and what else, what else? I need, uh... oh, I need to get oranges because I wanna start including more fruit so we're gonna get you know we're gonna have two oranges a day so i need to get eight oranges i need to get some bananas bananas are something i usually have anyway and you get some yogurt we're gonna get five percent yogurt instead of two percent because using the 96.4 ground beef is a little leaner than flank steaks so that uh that will help make up some of the fats because if i if i take out flank steak and replace it with the 96.4 ground beef for two meals that drops my fat grams from about 115 to about 80 something 80 or 90 so adding in a, a tablespoon of olive oil to those ground beef meals will bump it up um, to about 110 and then adding in uh, five percent greek yogurt instead of two percent greek yogurt will finish out the fat grams for me there so today is uh, going to be about a 4,700 calorie day because yesterday I had 4,300 and weighed in this morning was two pounds less. So yeah, we're going to give it a, a serious bump and, you know, shooting for 4,700 today should work out with my schedule, find a way to make it work. So that's what's going on. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's get into the grocery store and get it done. All right, guys, so some things we're going to do differently today than we have in the past couple full day of eating videos is we're going to be including two oranges a day. We're going to be getting in our carrots. Those are some things we've kind of been neglecting. We're going to get in our cranberry juice and our pomegranate juice because, yeah, I just, I just keep forgetting to get it at the grocery store. It's just not a high priority for me, but we're going to start making it more of a priority and, and just keep this thing rolling. I mean, because I have room for the carbs to include it. I mean, my goal is to have about 600 grams of carbs a day and I've been hitting about 500. So adding in a couple oranges, my carrots, pomegranate juice, cranberry juice, those are gonna get me up to nearly 600 grams of carbs a day, which is kind of the goal. So we're gonna eat this orange right now while the eggs are cooking.
meal two. Throw some salt on it. So I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you guys for meal three. <laughs> All right guys, this is meal three. We've got four ounces of cranberry juice to start it off with four baby carrots. four lean ground beef it's very lean so because of that we've got to add in a little bit of oil we're just going to use this uh, extra virgin olive oil it has about 11 or 12 grams of monounsaturated fats per serving per 15 grams worth the main reason for that is because monounsaturated fats help lower your total cholesterol, it helps lower your LDL cholesterol, it helps increase your HDL cholesterol. In four weeks of using two tablespoons worth of olive oil and algae oil, they're both monounsaturated fats, basically equal. Two tablespoons of mono, monounsaturated fats per week, or Per day, in four weeks, I dropped my total cholesterol from 230 down to 170. So, that's why we keep it in. Something that simple to add to a meal to keep things that good. <sighs> Alright guys, this is meal three. I will see you guys for my pre-workout. Alright guys, so I am getting... My pre-workout put together, we are doing Big Noise and Total War like usual with some salt <clears throat> for pre-workout. And then we're just going to do our usual intro workout that includes uh, Grunt, Breach, Cluster Bomb, and Tango. If you want any of those products, head over to Redcon1 now, link is down in the description box, and use my code T20ChaseI to get yourself 20% off. But yeah, I'm not gonna film my workout for you guys today. It's just an arm workout. I think I did that last week for you guys. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing. So um, yeah, if you're interested in what that looks like, go to last week, check out that video, and uh, that's what's up. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna head out, and I will be back for meal four. <laughs> So it's time for meal four. We've got another orange that we are going to eat real quick. I've got flank steak cooking over there with some zucchini. So we're gonna down this, down our carrots, get our rice on, and get this meal in. this meal cooked, I'm going to start putting together meal five. I'm not going to eat this meal right away because it is only uh, 150. And usually I eat at three, but I've got a client at three. I'm going to be at the gym training people from three until seven, but I have a break at five. Okay, so I'm going to eat at 2.30. I'm going to eat this meal at 2.30. Um, I'm going to pack meal five in a thermos like a good boy and take that to work. I'm going to eat that from five to six-ish. Then I'm going to train my client at six. And then I'll come home and eat meal six. That was a lot of sixes. <clears throat> so. So you guys see me putting in all this kitchen work and now you probably understand why, why I've always done like intermittent fasting in the past. And why, you know, I just, I don't know, I feel like that's held me back because I haven't been doing this. I haven't been eating six meals, spreading out my protein. I mean, this has helped me get in more protein, more calories um, than what I was doing with intermittent fasting for so long. And 
it's only been one week. Like I started last Tuesday, I got back from Vegas Sunday. Monday, I pretty much just rested the whole day and ate like one or two meals and then started Tuesday this whole thing and I have not missed a meal. So you guys see how much work this actually is, how much you know, time it takes to cook all this stuff and do it six times a day. It's easy to see why people don't do it. But like I was saying, it's only been a week and I do feel like I've already made some progress in this week. So imagine piling weeks on at a time of doing this consistently and seeing where we're at at that point. So <clears throat> let's just keep this ball rolling. All right guys, here is meal four. This is ready to go. It's pretty hot, so I'm gonna let that cool. Get my carrots in. And then we're gonna start putting together meal five. Just gonna let this cool. And then once I get meal five put together, I'll eat this. And by then it'll be about 2.15, 2.30 or so. And that'll be good timing. guys here is meal five we're gonna put this into this hopefully how about that one key tip make sure you wipe off the uh, thermos um, threading, <clears throat> you don't want food to get stuck in there. Man, this thing could not be more perfectly full. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to screw the lid on though without it overflowing. I think I'm gonna have to like drink a little of this or something. Just like take a spoonful out. It's just a little too much. All right, I think that'll work. <clears throat> that is pretty amazing, honestly. That, that is the exact amount of space that I needed for this. Okay guys, so I am going to take this to work. Um, I'm going to bring with me though, a bowl to dump this in and a spoon uh, because it's a pain in the ass to try to eat out of this thing. It just makes a mess. It's not worth trying. So yeah, I'm gonna get maybe just like a big plastic Tupperware like this. I'll just dump it into here and that will do it. So that's meal five. <sighs> Perfect timing. It's 2.15 right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna eat meal four and I'm gonna head out and I guess I don't need to film mill five. So I will see you guys when I get back here at about 7.30 for meal six. All right guys, it's time to make our usual meal six. Well, it hasn't been usual the past couple nights, but usual that I want to have. It's usually planned. 40 grams of oats cooked in the microwave. <clears throat> We're gonna add one scoop of MRE light, um, five grams of Ceylon cinnamon, 15 grams of ground flaxseed, and then 250 grams of 5% Greek yogurt and 100 grams of frozen blueberries. Let's do it. <music>
is. That is meal six. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's another full day of eating. You guys seem to really like these videos, so I'll keep putting them together as long as they can be slightly different each day. But <clears throat> that is what I have to show you all today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. <sighs> Tomorrow's Wednesday. I think we're doing hamstrings tomorrow. So remember, nobody cares. Train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow.